Hey friend, thanks for taking a moment out of your day to spend with me. I appreciate it. If you're watching this, you're likely interested in somehow overcoming your chronic health concern and or optimizing your health. So you're in the right place. I'll give you a bit of context in case you're not familiar with me or it's the first time that we're meeting. My name is Candice Esposito. I'm a licensed uh, naturopathic and functional medicine doctor. I've practiced clinically for over 16 years, having had the honor of working with over 5,000 patients during that time. Now, life often provides a mirror for us, and that's definitely been the case with myself, a mirror to look at ourselves, right, to look inwards. Um, and in my own life, what I've noticed is that the people that I tend to connect with, that I tend to attract in terms of who I work with, are on a similar journey that I was, that I still am. So it's no coincidence that I love, I love working with high achieving, spiritually minded professionals, entrepreneurs, and change makers suffering from chronic illness. That's who I am in a nutshell, that's who I was. I suffered from debilitating social anxiety and depression for over 20 years of my life. I experienced trauma along the way, which I needed to look at and address. I've learned a lot through solving my own problems, looking at my own issues and what I needed to address. And I'm grateful to now be in a position where I could take those learnings and bring them back to my community to share with others. I'm on a mission to change how we heal, to shift from our current model of healthcare, that of the patient that is more passive, right, given X prescription, shift to one of a more proactive model of healthcare, that of health creation, you being the empowered health creator. Because I believe that you, you the patient, are the doctor of the future. And I believe that nothing can fix your body better than it can fix itself. The only person that can heal you is you. So everything I do is in service to that, is in service to those beliefs and those principles uh, in terms of the work that I do and how I serve others to support you to take back control of your own health, to feel empowered to take self-responsibility and to experience the fact that healing doesn't necessarily have to take a long time. You don't have to live the rest of your life with a chronic illness, even though you may have been told that message. It is, in fact, possible to take a quantum leap in your health, in your life at any given moment. And the roadmap that I'm going to share with you in a moment here outlines how that exactly is possible. It's the path that I took myself, the path that I've had the honor of walking alongside countless clients as well. And this is where we come to the three biggest obstacles in the path, uh, blocking the path rather of healing for professionals, entrepreneurs, these high achieving, uh, spiritually minded individuals. Because what I notice in my own life and from working with these over 5,000 clients is that there are three major obstacles. We can break it down into three major obstacles that come in the way of being able to heal ourselves. So let's look at each of those in turn. Okay, obstacle number one to healing is you don't have a roadmap. There is a wealth of information available. You may feel like you already have a PhD in Dr. Google, right? You don't need more information. What you need are the right steps for you to take in the right order at the right time. So the right steps, the right sequence in the right time. You need to know how to siphon out, how to filter out the information that is right for you and how to use that knowledge to then inform the action you specifically need to take. So that's the first track on the healing journey that I walk clients through, which I've called the quantum health embed. And I call the first track of the quantum health embed, the reveal track. The reveal track includes three key steps. The first step is the reflection. The mirror analogy comes into play here too. So the reflection is about being honest with ourselves, being willing to look more deeply at all aspects of our lives, both the light and the dark. 
So this step involves validation, validation of your story, your experience, your feelings. It involves feeling heard and listened to, which is really the first step to co-regulation, feeling safe, feeling like you belong, that you can be vulnerable and share your story. Step two on the reveal track is what I call the fountainhead. And the fountainhead represents the source. Chasing symptoms doesn't work. We need to look upstream at the root causes, the source, the big why, the big why that happened first in your life along your timeline that created the snowball effect and put into motion the development of the chronic illness you may have now. So we identify and confirm your root causes on all levels, mind, body, and spirit. So is it toxins? Is it pathogens, nutrient deficiencies, trauma, chronic stress, repressed emotions? Which, if any of those, are at play for you? What is the fountainhead that's unique to you? And then the third step is the blueprint. Once we're clear on where you are, having honestly looked in that mirror, and we know where you want to be, your vision, that limitless possibility, and we know your fountainhead, the source of your health problems, which can then inform what steps we need to take, then we create your customized quantum health blueprint, your roadmap. Roadmap in hand, action steps in place. Obstacle to healing number two is that you are working with an inflexible nervous system. If you don't feel safe, you can't heal. Each individual may identify a different fountainhead, a different source. However, the impact of those root causes is the same for everyone. Something called the cell danger response. Trauma impacts us all the way down to the cellular level. Research shows that it creates a similar inflammatory response called the cell danger response as do pathogens and toxins. So we need to provide the body proof, evidence that it is safe all the way down to the cellular level. And I would argue all the way down to the quantum level, even beyond the atom or cell. And we do this by taking a bottom up approach. So the old model that most people are stuck in looks like addressing things from the top down. Talk therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, EFT, meditation even. Now those are all wonderful modalities. However, you can tell your brain all day long it is safe. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to have any lasting results anyway. Because our nervous system requires proof. You can't just tell it. You need to show it. And that's what we do in the second track of the quantum health embed, which is called the revitalized track. Cellular safekeeping targets the autonomic nervous system. Terrain tending targets the gut-brain access, and matrix draining targets the drainage and detoxification pathways in our body. When those systems specifically are working well, you have your strong foundation laid down for your health to flourish and to optimize. You can absorb nutrients better. You can regulate your hormones now and keep them balanced rather than always having to take some kind of quote-unquote adrenal support, for example. And we need to do this on all levels, biochemical or physiological, psychological and energetic. We need to remove the threats, be it biochemical, psychological or energetic threats. And that's how we get your body out of survival mode, out of battleship mode. It's no longer under threat. The wall comes down. It can relax. It feels safe. And therefore, it can let the healing in, including all those wonderful modalities that I mentioned earlier, if you so choose. And then health obstacle number three is that you are stuck in the illusion of separation. And here's where I often lose people. So I'll ask you, stick with me. 
especially if you notice any resistance come up when I said that statement. I mentioned being spiritually minded earlier, and when I say that, I'm not talking about religion or dogma. Rather, an openness, a willingness to consider the possibility of a power greater than ourselves that exists. Whether you want to call it God, the universe, spirit, mother nature, it doesn't matter. Simply an openness to consider that possibility. The more I work with the body, the more I learn about health, the more I am convinced that everything is connected. I believe science has only scratched the surface of how the body is interconnected, how the cells, tissues, organs, systems within our body all work together and communicate with one another. It's all linked. And the more I learn about life and the caveat being admittedly, I know enough to know I don't know very much, the more I am convinced that our bodies are microcosms of the universe itself and of our interconnectedness with everyone and everything. That's part of the reason for incorporating the word quantum into the name of this roadmap. Quantum has become, albeit a buzzword, people seem to be applying it to everything now. The way that I'm using it here though, the meaning behind it is what I consider its true meaning. Quantum is the basis of life. Quantum is everything. When we start to embrace the idea that we are all connected, even if we simply start with embracing that everything inside our body is connected, we can then start to travel down the third track, the reconnect track. You can then alchemize self-limiting beliefs, past experiences, and old stories. The alchemists used to turn lead into gold. What we do in this step we turn our old stories, our past experiences, our self-limiting beliefs into gold, in a sense, into gifts that we can use as fuel for healing. You can start to align yourself with that which is most important to you, to your values, to your life purpose. And finally, you can ascend into that higher version of yourself, your true self having embodied those values, having embodied your soul's purpose. You live as that higher version of yourself and experience life as that higher version of yourself. You can then take what you've learned and share it with others, bringing it back to your community, creating a ripple effect in your little corner of the world. The only way we heal the world is by healing ourselves. So from your pain, be it physical pain or psychological pain, to your promise, joy, freedom, security, connection, where you are now to where you want to be, whatever that may look like for you. So my hope is that this video, at the very least, provided you some insight into possible obstacles getting in the way of your healing. Because awareness then brings with it the opportunity for action, right? You can take action on those new awarenesses. And that, that opportunity for action brings with it hope. Hope that change is possible, that healing is possible. Hope of lasting transformation. Hope of fulfilling that promise. The promise is possible for you. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. I'll let you know a little secret. It's already here. You just need to reconnect with it. So thanks again for taking a moment out of your day to spend with me. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. If you are ready to heal yourself and interested in learning more about the quantum health embed, then please click the link below. Let's connect. Have a chat. I'll see you soon.